Hey everyone, so I am 35 weeks pregnant today with baby number four. Um, I thought I would do a little update. I, I'm trying to remember like what this last week has been like. I had an appointment last Wednesday, I want to say, and it was pretty good. Um, the Monday before I had actually gone into the hospital because I was having really bad contractions and um, I had a little bit of light bleeding. So I went in just for them to check me out and baby and everything looked fine. Um, I have to say at this point with my last baby, I felt a lot more pressure down there, like I couldn't even walk. Um, although I do have moments of really bad pressure. So basically the doctor said um, at 35 and a half weeks, which will be on Wednesday, um, they won't stop your labor if you go into labor so she's just kind of like keep that baby in for a couple more weeks but it's funny because like I said before they told me I was going to be early with my last baby and um she was born at like 38 weeks so she was a little bit early but not like premature or anything so um I feel like it makes me nervous when the doctor tells me stuff like that because I feel like does that mean I'm gonna go into labor early so I'm like super paranoid we're going out of town and um, so I've been like map questing where all the hospitals are anytime I go anywhere just in case because she really thinks that once I go into labor it's gonna go like fast and um, I don't know if this is true for any of you moms out there but they say that each kid is half the labor time of the kid before which is pretty much true for me because my first was 23 hours the next one was 11 hours the next one was four hours so if it kind of goes on that sequence it's gonna be like two hours or less so to me that's the most nerve-wracking thing about going into labor is having enough time to not only get to the hospital but having enough time to get someone to come and get my kids and so I'm always like well what do people do when they don't have anyone to watch their kids do they just take them to the hospital and a nurse watches them I am sure we will figure it out and I'm just like I'm just I'm notorious for worrying about things like that that are out of my control so I'm kind of worried about that um, I do feel like the baby has dropped because I can breathe a little bit better and my upper belly is a little bit squishier I guess um, I'm pretty sure that I lost my mucus plug which with the others it was like I want to say like a week and a half or so before I went into labor and that was like a week ago but really with anything that happens with your body it doesn't mean anything it could mean you're going into labor today it could mean you're going into labor in a month like who knows um, like with my son I, w I was at three centimeters dilated for like little over three weeks so I remember the first time they said I was three centimeters I was like oh I'm gonna go into labor anytime and I like couldn't sleep all this stuff and it was like three weeks later that I went into labor so um, I'm a little bit nervous about that I'm really excited for labor and I've always said that um, I love Labor Day it's just so exciting to me there's nothing like it in the world and of course I am kind of sad because this is gonna be our last baby so there's a part of me that I feel like when it happens I'm gonna be a little bit sad but um, it's neat because we know we're going into the next phase of our life so that part of it is exciting I finally got some baby things um, my sister-in-law and mother-in-law um, through a shower um, out where they live so we got some things there and then um, we actually have another shower today which is really nice with our church people so it should be so fun and I'm so thankful for so many blessings in our life we had um, a group of people come and like work on our house like clean our house like a bunch of stuff and it's just been such a huge blessing especially at this time but it's funny because I'm still not like pre-baby weight because I still had 10 pounds from each kid starting off. So I still had 30 pounds like when I got pregnant with this one from the previous kids um, just starting off. And then in the beginning because I was throwing up so much I lost almost 20 pounds. So from my first weigh-in when um, I found out I was pregnant at the doctor till now I think there's just like a four pound difference but that's I mean if you consider me losing 20 from throwing up and then you know gaining back and then another four so it would, you know so yeah so I have gained the least amount with this one 
but like I said I still have like 30 pounds from the previous kids so um, that is the weight gain a couple of people have asked me like how much weight I've gained so I guess that's basically it I guess hopefully um, I am pregnant for at least three more weeks I would like to make it to 37 weeks um, just so that the baby's totally developed and healthy and um, you know just all that stuff so I'm praying every day for a healthy baby and that he would be happy and that everyone would adjust well I do feel like baby number three she's having I feel like she knows something's going on and every time like I'm getting ready or I have like the baby's clothes out or um, the other day I made like a little rocker thing for the baby to lie in and I feel like she like freaks out because she's like what do you mean this isn't for me so that part of it I feel kind of bad to her because to me she's still a baby she's like 19 she'll be two in November so um me and her are like she's like so attached to me so I just been loving on her and like just letting her just be cuddly as much as she can so anyways that is my 35 week update and hopefully I will have another update next week so I'll talk to you later bye